Americans are based on that end of the field. We are British. And we have got our British fort over here. And we are fortunate enough to have some cannons, so we are British artillery are right here. I am about to defeat the rebels, sir, and put down the rebellion. That should be clear enough to any dolt. This is the only spot where you can enter Norfolk from the land side. We cannot allow them to capture this place, and I will not have it. And then I shall march on Williamsburg, where there will be some very short trials and some very slow executions. Reenacting is just a way of living a little bit of the history. Of course, we'll never recreate it the way it was. We don't, we don't suffer the way they suffered and go through what they went through. But it's a lot of fun. You just you let your imagination run with it, and you feel there are moments when you feel like we're in the moment, 240 years ago or so. And it's also a great way to teach. You know, um, folks come with misconceptions, and they see us doing our thing, and hopefully we've corrected some of the myths and all. Do you guys have any questions? Sure. What you will find in a uh, standard colonial home, um, they would have homemade bread. Like the Dutch ovens, if you got a hanging on the fire over there right now, we would make bread in those. Hold up. So you're gonna prime like that, and when you bring it around, make sure you bring it down like that. All right, not too far. All right, now we're gonna uh, advance by uh, ranks. Front rank, five steps to the front. March. One, two. Prime to pan, close pan, so now it's gonna stay. Normally there would be a ball, obviously, and you would just put the whole thing down, ram it down, but not here. The Great Bridge Battle, very, very important. Very important battle here. It really crippled uh, Lord Dunmore's efforts to maintain royal control of Virginia. He lost the heart of his force, the uh, 14th Regiment, were, were uh, killed or wounded here, and, and that forced him to take refuge on, on boats in uh, the Elizabeth River, which then led to the burning of Norfolk. And it all leads to something that happens over at Gwynn's Island seven months later, where he literally gets chased off the island and leaves. Once he leaves Virginia in, in the summer of 1776, that frees up Virginia, the most important colony, the most populous colony, to send its men north to help General Washington. It's all connected, it's all connected. And so Great Bridge, it is significant. It's a significant piece of the puzzle.